microscopic. But those are my garden bears. Coming to you from the mothership. I am locked and loaded. I'm locked and loaded to take on Garden Betty this year. It's been long enough. It's year four in my gardening project. I'm going to save seeds. I'm heirlooming it. I'm non gmo in it. I'm a food snob. And I got my act together last night. I was overwhelmed with all the seeds I had purchased. I was just looking at packets and packets and packets and packets of seeds. And my brain could not process it all. And I was about to throw in the towel and just go out into the food forest and throw seeds around. Then I got a hold of myself. I said, no, don't do that. This is the year you're going to gain on that garden betty. So, here's what I did. I first consulted Seed Saver. Dot org. Let's see. I'm already locked out of that. Oh, well. Go to seedsaver.org. Um, that's what I did. And I learned that different species, like the carrot, the carrot family, and then these are the different species. I printed these out. I did a cut and paste because I had no idea what I was reading about. Um, like, for example, over here is cabbage. I was reading about... All these are uh, like uh, arugula, broccoli, collards, kale, car car I can't even say what that is, mustards, radishes, arugula. I have all this. And I kept reading that one would cross with the other. And I was just, I couldn't, it was a big picture puzzle. And I couldn't figure it out. So anyway, this is what I've done. I went to seedsaver.org, cut out what the families were. Um, you can see I stapled it to a bag. Inside the bag, I have all of my seeds. So now I can kind of think of it in terms of the cabbage family. A lot of these can be planted um, February 15th in my zone. So I am ready. I'm more organized. Instead of thinking about 200 different seed packets, I can think about this number of bags right here. You know, so here's what I've got. I've got the cabbage family the carrot family, the beet family, and here, here's the one that was overwhelming, the squash family. <clears throat> so here I've got, this is, um, there's a hard, hard shelled gourd. I don't even know what's in there. I've got a couple in there. Um, these, that's got the butternut, and I've got maybe another couple of kind. Um, this is a huge one. The squashes that are the pepo. That's got all different kinds. So when I've, I've got it highlighted in yellow, that means I've got it in there. Um, and then I'll just continue to expand my notes and then maybe update my um, my schedule one day and put it on the pack, put, put it back on the bags when it's more tailored to what I'm doing. At this point, I'm just learning. I'm trying to get organized. This one here, um, those are the watermelon type squashes. And here is the more like squashes again in that one um and then the the milos there's a lot of those too so anyway i'm organized here these are things that i have learned that don't crossbreed easy so i don't have to worry about planting multiple species so mm -hmm. i can relax on these um one of them would include beans and peas um then i've got the onion family um and then other lettuces with other lettuces, you can separate it by about 25 feet, and that should do it for um, making the seeds more pure, um, preventing the cross pollinization. Then over here, I've got my farmer's almanac. There's some interesting stuff in there that I have never thought about. Um, here's a bunch of flower seeds. All oh, this is the edible stuff um, nasturtium, sunflowers, all that's edible. Um, these are the herbs and stuff. This could be anything. So I'm realizing a lot of these can be planted indoors in March. So I'm ready for those. Um, this is my peppers. Got some different peppers going on in there. Um, and then, let's see what I have in here. The amaranth. I've got tons of amaranth. I've about got every kind imaginable. I've gone amaranth crazy. <clears throat> and then just flowers for, um, just for 
for planting for beauty. I don't know. Maybe I'll find out some are edible. Anyway, I'm excited. Garden Betty, here I come. I'm gonna collect my seeds. There's some notes on this. I'll talk about that later. Different website mm -hmm. I, I utilize. Oh my goodness. Look at this beautiful day. Look at it. It's not gonna be January forever. It's not gonna be January forever. I have had another gardening breakthrough. There is a website called Garden8.com. It has saved my life. This is year four in my gardening, and I have been at it now trying to outsmart Mother Nature, and that's different. That's a different video, <clears throat> but needless to say, I've been it's a science project. There is so much to know about gardening. And I just thought I was going to go out there, fling some seeds around, and have an abundant garden. It didn't work out that way. So what this website does for me, I can go out to this website, type in my zone, which is zone 7A, and it tells me when to plant stuff. And it tells me about the time if I plant it in that month when it's going to start being harvested. So I'm excited. You can see my little notes over there where I'm plant, planting my notes where I, you know, put it in the ground or whatever. Um, I'm playing around with this. You can tell I'm making plans. I'm planting stuff. Oh, and my lettuces. I've got a bunch of cool lettuces. Um, here's my notes of where I'm going to plant my different lettuces. Trying to space everything the 25 feet so I can collect the seeds from all those different lettuces and just have an abundance of seeds to share. Um, and my strawberries from seeds. I'm trying to do that this year. I've got those alpine yellow strawberries. Um, I'm hoping that that'll grow. But anyway, I'm excited. I'm just almost hyperventilating. I can't wait for two more weeks to pass so I can start planting stuff in February. February. They had a couple of things you could do in January, but it's too soon. Um, so I'm, ho I'm trying to cool my jets. Stay calm. Stay calm. It can't be January forever. <sighs> and there's my yard. There's the food forest. There's the food forest. It's not going to look like this in May and June. And so check this out. This is kind of a snobby asparagus. I can't even pronounce it, but um, it's a snobby one. So look. See how that works? See how it's all nice and perky? What do you think? I'm a genius, aren't I? A dollar. Everything a dollar. <laughs>